Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware uh, of the future market. Uh, today, I want to cover a little bit about the Bitcoin price. And uh, because it took a, a lot of hit today, the Bitcoin. And I'm not your financial advisor. And uh, whatever you do, it is at your own risk. But today, I have seen so many rumors. And uh, as we see, as usual, uh, on those guys, they are trying to predict the Bitcoin and they keep making the same mistake uh, and they keep uh, one guy uh, smoking different cigarettes. He can see he have a vision in 2040 the Bitcoin is going to a million dollar. I don't know in 2040. I don't smoke those cigarettes. Uh, I don't know if the Bitcoin in 2040 is going to be worth a million dollar or worth a banana. I have no idea in 2040. I'll be glad if I can survive till 2040. And we hear today, I, I hear a lot of um, people trying to analyze uh, the Bitcoin, which most, most of the time, 99% I have seen, they fell predicting, uh, even by the, the highest viewer, uh, people follow those Bitcoin guys and uh, they always miscalculate the Bitcoin. I try, uh, I, I try to um, uh, not interfere with this, but uh, once in a while I like to uh, uh, put the level for you and uh, show you. What, I'm, what I want to show you is, before we, we cover the auto trade, I know it's a bit boring, before we cover the auto trades, we need to uh, just uh, predict the short term of the Bitcoin. I don't know what happened in 2040. Uh, I don't know what will happen next month. But on the short term, as we see today what happened, which I usually, for a short term, I use 60 minutes. And on a long term, I use a daily chart. And all this garbage nonsense pattern, uh, moving averages, all this hogwash uh, they usually uh, after 30 years of trading i know better than that not to be slaved for any type of an indicator so what we are trying to do, to to predict here is the price action in the market it's not uh, based on a on stupid indicator or based on um, some stupid moving average the moving average have their limitation as well cannot predict but what happened today this is the key when it was on the 27,500 which immediately uh, fire uh, reversal which you can see where is the symmetry and where is the long and usually we we get on a daily charts we get when to buy and when to sell if you notice where is the symmetry and all the algorithm uh, blend in into the market where to take long where to take a profit and all this but i don't want to go through details i don't want to teach a price action what the key here was the 27.5 you know and then followed by a reversal today we took a dive and here is the key is the 26,700 now there is some people i heard today maybe if you break out that moving average or that indicator or that this hog watch, uh, that the uh, Bitcoin go into the 15,000 and the 9,000. Now, if we flip to the daily chart, we can look at the bigger vision, but on the shorter term, on the what we are doing right now, what it is, the key is, was the 26,700. And you can see how the Bitcoin was struggling with that support area and what happened the bitcoin broke that major support area very then if you are following us on the other channels uh, when we go live there is some kind of institutional targets in here which if you look on my previous videos is, is right on the clock the bitcoin is no it's nothing more then if you look at the technical analysis of the Bitcoin and you will find out is very clear vision. Where is this Bitcoin beside all this hogwash we hear uh, on those 
call themselves professional traders. After 30 years, I know better not to be uh, a slave for any indicator or an indicator following the market. And this is what the, the biggest mistake they're making is following the market by some kind of stupid indicator. Those numbers here is target one, target two, and target three. Usually those are only three targets at daytime, which is more like, if you want to simplify this, is the institutional target, which we hit it, the target one and target two usually in the future market before 12 o'clock, between 11, 11 o'clock plus minus five minutes. And the target three is usually for the afternoon session. So what we see here today, the market, and there is another system trying to figure out based on the market movement, the algorithm trying to predict where is going to be your target and where is your fib lines and where is the most likely you can reverse the market. So as we see here, the Bitcoin dropped to the target one, stopped, dropped to the target two, stopped, and final, the final destination, target three, and stopped. And stopped the whole afternoon session. At this moment right now, uh, okay, my clock is in the blue, and the background is in blue, it's 249. So if we look at the Bitcoin, we can find out the Bitcoin stop on target three, plus minus few ticks here and there. Another indication that if you notice here on the top of the chart, those are not overbought, oversold baby stuff. You know, what happened to the supply demand? So when the system came in between those two yellow line, it was followed by a symmetry reversal signal and it was a reversal signal. Simple, when it entered, the Bitcoin entered those two yellow line and it was down the hill. Before what happened today with all the red bar, it was a predicted long time before that. It was predicted ahead of time. That's what it is all about trading, is predicted ahead of time, not to be miserably following an indicator, following the market and you're trying to predict where the market moving whether you are a forex trader, future trader, or a, or a cryptocurrency. So what happened here, the market to drop, yes, we have the feds, we have the news, we have all kind of bad news, good news, whatever you want. The market dropped between those two yellow lines. When, it, when the market dropped between those two yellow lines, this means there is no longer you are able technically to short out this market, which I never, I'm very much against shorting the cryptocurrency and especially the Bitcoins. I'm not in favor. This is my opinion. I'm not in favor to short the Bitcoin. I only like to buy the Bitcoin, but I don't like to short the Bitcoin. So if we notice here at this moment, the market came in exactly to the fib line between those two yellow line and start firing reversal. Those reversal are not potato reversal. Those reversal, they do not repaint. They don't move from one bar to another. Those reversal, when implement on the chart, that's mean they are holding after the verifying everything, the, the, the reversal, a plot on your chart. So for me, for those guys are getting scared from what I have heard to some people today saying that Bitcoin going to 9,000. I don't know. I'm not smoking those cigarettes. I don't know in next month if the Bitcoin going to 9,000 or 90,000, but for the short term, the Bitcoin has bottomed up for the short term. I will try my best to keep you updated when we have a free time we are extremely busy. I cannot sit down and babysit Bitcoin, but I will try once in a while, try to show you. And we are always eight, nine out of 10. We are very good predicting the market, what is happening. Eight to nine out of 10, we aim it right. So I'm not your financial advisor. This is my opinion on the Bitcoin. This is the bottom on the Bitcoin. For the short term, 
And then the problem is, it's not what you hear, the 30 or the 20 or whatever it is. My main concern at this moment, the 26,700. This is my main concern, the 26,700. This is the bottom of the Bitcoin and it probably is going to retest the 26,700. And once we retest the 26,700, if this market able to break that level, then there is a possibility to climb again to the 27,500. If it's not, this is another game is going to go back to the 26th level somewhere around there, which we cannot predict that for at this moment. <clears throat> so at this moment, I will not be scared. If you are a Bitcoin uh, holder, uh, this is the bottom of it and you should not sell out. Uh, this is my opinion. Of course, uh, I'm not your financial advisor. And uh, those guys, they're trying to spook you in the market. Um, uh, and uh, I hear a rumor today that, uh, that the Bitcoin is going to 9,000. I don't know if it's going to 9,000. Uh, might go to zero in 10 years or might not go to zero in 10 years. Might be going to $1 million and will come to the trading, whether you are trading Bitcoin, gold, uh, Anything you are trading, of course, there is a risk. And I don't want to talk about risk. It's uh, we all mature enough here, understanding the risk. So for me, in my opinion, in my opinion, from the technical side, this is a buying area. It's not selling off an area, in my opinion. Once the market entered those two yellow line, those two yellow line have a different algorithm and you should not be uh, spooked by those people uh, you know that were born yesterday i mean i've been trading for 30 years and you have some people less than 25 years old they're trying to predict and the question is what they have seen and uh, and uh, if they are if they are 25 years old and uh, how long they've been trading and how long they they start reading really honestly how long they've been start reading and uh, are they genius? No, they're not genius. They're just testing uh, their prediction with you. And that's why there is a lot of uh, people lose uh, in, the, in the Bitcoin because of those people, the amateur people. They don't look at the technical side. They can just keep predicting for the next 10 years or 20 years. So I will try my best to, to update you if I see anything uh, different. And... Um, uh, this is my opinion as I'm not your financial advisor for the future trading. Uh, we did very well today on the future trading. The CL two minutes uh, did. Uh, I'm going a little bit uh, today. My 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 video was for the Bitcoin. I'm not going to go through the all the um, uh, all the future trading. We just going to have a little snapshot 3600 on the CL. Uh, uh, on the CL again, the one minute twenty two eight. On the CL again, uh, twenty two hundred. Also on the CL six hundred, we got twenty eight hundred, and also on the CL nine range, we got thirty two hundred, and on the CL four range, we got twenty five hundred. On the gold, there is another thing also, you can see there is a really, when you put the, let me see if I can put the gold, you can see where is, where is the gold and the dollar, and if you compare it with your Bitcoin chart, you will have a very clear vision. So in the future trading, even if you are trading something else, you always keep your eye on the ES. If you put the dollar and the gold and the Bitcoin, you will have a very clear vision uh, as a technical trader, where is the Bitcoin going as well. Uh, and I'm not gonna sit down and uh, try to waste time on this. Uh, the CL10 range, uh, it is 2400 uh, and uh, the CL8 range, we did 3300 
and on the CL300. Why, uh, why we are showing the CL is what I said before, when there is a problem in the market, and this is another CL, and what I'm trying to do here on those charts, I'm trying to prove a point to you that, which what that's what we have said. When there is a trouble with the ES NASDAQ, you always can find a trend on the CL, always. So if we look at the chart, this is uh, the ES, and as we see, the ES was not really uh, the best chart in the market. This is an, an auto trade. We are testing some. There is not much going on on the CL and uh, on the ES. And when there is no movement on the ES, you will find a movement on the CL always. So for the auto traders, for the auto traders, when you find the ES NASDAQ, they're not trending. You can always jump on the CL and no matter how bad it is, you always have better chances d despite where this auto trade coming from, whether from our uh, auto trade or somebody else auto trade is irrelevant. When there is a trouble in heaven, when there is trouble in, e uh, in the ES, NASDAQ, you can always refuge to the CL and auto trade if you're not a professional trader so at least the odds on your side remember that every time you see the es not trending immediately switch your auto trade to the cl and you will find some good movement on the cl why because those older guys those that when they've been around not those guys put in moving averages and all this nonsense those guys know the trick. Those guys, they've been around for many years. They know. And you have to be with the, with the trend. So the trend with the CL when there is no trend in ES. So remember that despite what kind of auto trade you have from any company you have, doesn't matter. So I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just sharing uh, my information with you. And... Uh, uh, also for the the Bitcoin, uh, another things also some people, uh, you know I like I cannot show my other screen, but I have some order buy on 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 the crypto, and uh, it's not be it's not uh, the Bitcoin, but also it's the same trick when you are using the ES. I look at the ES to buy anything, whether uh, NASDAQ, YM, even stocks. I look at the ES. Even if we are trading the DAX in, in Deutschland, in Germany, I look at the ES. The ES is the gate, is the signal to the all the future market. And the same thing right now, I have an order. I, I cannot share this with you uh, on different type of crypto. And I'm not looking at the chart I want to buy from. I'm looking at the Bitcoin. I'm looking at the Bitcoin to get filled on my other crypto. Once a while, yes, you have a crypto pop out by somebody. But from the technical side, when you see people like uh, they want to put a chart on Cardano, Ethereum, or whatever it is, I don't do this. I look at the crypto on the BB on the Bitcoin, and from the Bitcoin, I make my decision uh, when to buy, when to sell, even different crypto, because the Bitcoin is like the ES in the future market. I only uh, look at the ES whether I want to buy stocks, I want to buy anything. I look at the ES first. The ES is your flashlight, your oxygen to the market. And the same thing with the cryptocurrency. I don't look at the small uh, uh, chart. I look at the Bitcoin where it's going to determine if I need to buy or not. So at this uh, Bitcoin at this moment, I can read it has bottom up for today. Irrelevant what kind of crypto 
maybe the first 10 or the first 15 crypto um, despite what you buy despite what you buy on the first 10 ranks or the the first 15 ranks the impact is coming from the Bitcoin you know we're not uh, trying to buy crypto some kind of new crypto can just come out of a garage sale but those first 10 in rank with the crypto you don't need to look at the crypto itself what you need to look at the bitcoin that's what i have found out that it is the best way to make a decision on the first 10 racks in the in the uh, in the crypto this is not i'm not your financial advisor this is my opinion uh, and i've been behind the computer for 30 years and the information i'm sharing with you it is my own opinion but you can do whatever you want we wish you a very pleasant evening and uh, we thank you very much for today. Bye for now.